near me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd... Tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> oh! Peter! We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Need to build up my calluses. Keep hitting those dingers, George, and you'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. Fingers are still crap from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. I can't believe I caught this. That Maiden show was awesome. Stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. 
I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey, it's only a leak. Ah, oh, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confidence. <laughs> Arrested? For what? <laughs> Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops. Our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? <sighs> Details! <sighs> Drax! <laughs> About Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. Good old Milano. Engine parts from at least five different black markets. <laughs> oh yeah, you remember that dealer who asked about the emitters? After you left, he... <laughs> he leans over to me and he says, Uh, w w what do you need these for then? I am Groot. <laughs> yeah, like I'm turning the Milano into a dance club or something. Please refrain from creating this club of dance. Yeah, yeah, we all know how you feel about dancing. I am Groot. Well, what was I supposed to tell him? Uh, you know, I uh, need them to build uh, some ultrasonic lore so my team of ex-cons can trap a mystery creature in the most uh, legal place in the quad. You want to throw in a discount? <laughs> What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She's waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye and thwart any attempt at treachery. Or... You could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. What did the tree say? No idea. Groot really needs to get these plants under control. Nice Gizmos rocket! I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time.
All right, I'll let you get back to it. Sounds like catching that monster will be easier than we thought. Yeah, the faster we catch it, the faster we get paid. <laughs> nice. Rocket finally cleaned up the fur balls. You're welcome! Peter Quill, we must soon discuss the status of my official team membership badge. Drax, once again, there is no official badge. <laughs> Obviously, you would not have one, Assassin. The small one indicated the procedure is a well-guarded secret. Rocket, stop messing with him. Almost 20 years, and those tracks are still fire. Wish you were here, Mom. Did you bring back the docking chips you took from the alignment console? I'll do it as soon as I reconfigure them! You better not try to sell them off! Not like I'd make any money! Things are so cheap they couldn't align two magnetized connectors. So, Drax! Excited to meet our buyer after we catch the monster? Of course. Lady Hellbender is a legendary warrior and a noble queen. And she's rich. That is not a prowess, simply a commercial fact. As long as she buys her monster, she doesn't need to be royalty. You are jealous of her status. No thanks. Being a queen means being born with a target on your back. Kind of like the one on yours. <sighs> Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at. Nice! Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Once we breach that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. Okay, here we go. Rocket, Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the Betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to- There.
incredible. I realized there was so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacor had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Ronan. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoff Nile than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quell suit up. Team Rockets up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. Grounds to escape to land a ship, you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. My baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Huh. Yep. Being here definitely feels a little weird. Yo, well, these coordinates are so reliable. How come we're the only ones out here trying to catch this thing? Visor works. Sure it works. I checked it right before we left. Did you just put checked it in quotes? What? <laughs> nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I didn't mean toxic toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth toxic. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... Pink goo. Ebrium based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Oh, look! Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Novacore for you. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy? Why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? <laughs> I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, hey, check out the serious intel I got from, you know, shady sources. Flap broke, Rocket. We need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating Yarrow Root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted zone. Whatever monster lives here, nobody else has one. Lady Hellbender values rarity in her acquisitions. Exactly. You know... I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Guess it is kind of poetic. Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out. Just like when we started this gig. Before you know who joined us. I am cool. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Maybe. 
Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Eh, uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on! How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group, you think we can find pieces of the Tryon shard in here? Oh, you happy, Quill? That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> I am Groot. Of course he could know. I told him. Settle an argument, Rodent. What is this omnipresent pink substance made of? You done gloating? Oh, I am never done gloating. I am Groot. Yep, classic me. Another giant sheet of metal? Don't have to wait for me if you're in such a rush, Rocket. Of course we're waiting for him. You know how much work I put into those thumpers? Splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm good. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well... Ah! Ah! Oh! Amazing! I should have been recording! Bridge over! I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Larkin, Scott stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay, there's a craft out Nova Corps missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. This brings back memories. Sorry, 
I hope she's legit. Like, you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places, and we'll bag that monster. Mother of Scott! Move! Are you kidding me? Jump that! You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, no. That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right. Back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. Ugh, I can't stand these things chewing up all this beautiful salvage. Hey, Greenies, if you see any blue and gold ships out there, you let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If they do spot us, all they have to do is close that barrier and we're stuck in here with the rest of the graveyard. They wouldn't do that, right? Leave us to, to, to rot in here? Has to go against the Nova Corps or something. Yeah, well, who would have... <laughs> Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay, we're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Can you use this missile? Sure I can, to blow us to pieces. Keep looking. <laughs> hey, a huge power generator. How do we hook it up? We don't. That thing would toast our little bumper. Can't we condense the power through a routing funnel or something? Don't try to make up tech stuff. It's irritating. Find something else. So much for that. So what do I gotta do to get a last name like Drax's? Found a compressor! No charge! Ah, uh, no charge, no good. How do we know the monster we're looking for ain't one of these things we already killed? If it were worthy of Lady Hellbender's collection, we would not die. We know this thing when we see it and not after we stopped it. Found something with a charge! Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is... minuscule. At best. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it! Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. 
I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, 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 Scott! If I don't rewire this back, it's gonna force it! in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. <laughs> I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Harm, Groot. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster- Guys, this job is a huge deal. It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off, and we're- Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? I do prefer that name, but the acronym is unwieldy. Man, that thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a Cree Sentry. A robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Plus half a dozen Mega Sentry prototypes, star stealth models with modified sneak attack parameters. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I could see the parts come and go from my, uh... Uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Eh, most of them are just scars now anyways. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. I am Groot. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. 